Okay, so I'm making this video today addressed to you, 18 year old Bethlehem. This is what you look like at 16 when I'm making what is my extensions. So I decided that I wanted to make a video from my 18 year old self to my 21 year old self. But now I'm going to do a video from my 21 year old me to my 23 year old me. Not make a video to my 26 year old self like I said I was going to do, but I'm going to make a video to my 27 year old self. This is absurd. This is actually very weird. We're doing it again. Here we go. Hey guys, how's it crackalacking? Once again, <laughs> we all know why we're here. And if you don't know why we're here, I'm gonna fill you in. So about 11 years ago, <laughs> scary, terrifying. I made a video from my 16 to my 18 year old self. And then I replied to that video. I made another video from my 18 to my 21 year old self, so on and so forth. Then at 24, I made a video for my 27 year old self. And that is the video that we are gonna watch right now. <laughs> I want to preface this by saying sorry that it took me a minute to get you this video because I turned 27 in December. We are currently in March. I've been going through some health stuff recently that has been... <laughs> it's been kind of a roller coaster, to say the least. I probably will make a video talking about it before I do my dear 30 year old me video because of course I'm gonna do a dear 30 year old me video. I feel like when I've seen like little recordings of me and stuff recently I feel like my energy has been very different and like kind of my demeanor and stuff like that like I I don't really feel like I'm being myself. I'm not dying so that's like numero one that's out the way. I'm not dying and I do start what treatment is available to me tomorrow. Which is also why I'm making this video now is because when I start that treatment, I don't know if I'm gonna have like a bunch of side effects or stuff like that. So in the long term, I'm gonna be doing better than I'm doing right this second. <laughs> so, you know, we gotta remain positive. We gotta remain in that positive mindset. Okay, we're gonna start the video in three, two, one. Hey guys, how's it crack -a We're doing it, we're making a video. My name is Bethan Dudley. I made a video from my 16 year old self to my 18 year old <laughs> self. And then I made a video replying to that video from my 16 year old self. And then I made a video from my 18 year old self to my 21 year old self. I replied to that video. Uh, wait, was I 20? Uh, oh yeah, and then I made a video from my 21 year old self well, bleh, bleh. my 21 year old self to my 23 year old self and I replied to that video. I feel like I'm just going through like various different like types of makeup <laughs> that I've worn. It's just, uh, this is like probably the lightest makeup of all those, but actually no, maybe not my 18 year old self. Anyway. <laughs> Hello 27 year old Bethan. Hi, how are you? I'm good. I'm okay. Thank God, I think. <laughs> I think I'm okay. Um, I have some goals and questions for you. Oh, I'm gonna start with an easy one. Go to Japan and South Korea. Oh my god. That's an easy one because it's already booked. <laughs> How was it? Was it good? Have you gone back? So I did book my trip to Japan and South Korea, but we had this little thing called a global pandemic and that trip was booked for June 2020. So obviously that did not go ahead. Will I be going on that trip? I am yet to rebook it. I feel like there have been other things in my life that have just taken more priority. And for some reason, I just don't have the same itch that I had back then to go. I just feel like right now I'm just like so focused on my career and stuff like that. I don't know, I'm just like, oh God, am I gonna, maybe I should go. We didn't go. Should I rebook it? Probably. Will I rebook it? At some point. Okay, next. The world is ending. I want you to become the master of thrifting. I want you to figure out how to do it properly because you have a certain aesthetic which is kind of like mm. vintage meets space lady. In the US, it seems to be quite easy to do that. Um, in here, in the UK, I have struggled, but I feel like the way that the internet is going is going to be so much easier to get access to good sustainable clothing that you can afford um, and not have to just constantly go to these overpriced vintage shops that no one can afford or have, just have more money to spend on old vintage clothing. Have I gotten better at thrifting? I think I definitely am better at thrifting. I feel like a lot of the time I go to thrifting events 
and stuff and I don't really like what's on offer. I'm investing more money into good quality pieces that I feel like are standing the test of time. Back when I was more broke, you don't want to spend that money on those pieces because you don't really have it, but you just kind of want a new thing. I feel like I've gotten out of that habit. And I definitely buy a lot more on Depop than I used to, but I still feel like I'm far from a perfect thrifter. Always room for improvement. Hopefully in three years you are in a better financial situation where you can put down a deposit on a house that you like. You wanna get out. You wanna move out. And I've chosen not to move back to London because I don't want to waste all my money on rent. True. So that's a decision that I've made and so now I have to use that money and save up and yeah that save up. <laughs> um, so I'm hoping by the time that you are 27, you have saved up enough to buy a house or you're getting there, but equally you have another half at mm -hmm. this point. Um, so hopefully you're still good and you're on your way to getting the house. I am in a better financial position, which is great. I feel like I could be earning so much more, but I'm taking a pay cut because I still want to do music and like my other creative things. And so for that reason, I'm like working part time. Right now buying a house just really isn't like the priority for me. However, we are living in Birmingham because we are trying to like save money. Like there's this whole like kind of thing where we're just like, we just kind of want more time to just like, yeah, pursue our creative endeavors. And I don't regret it. I've been learning an awful lot. I just don't want to put myself in a position where I have to choose or I become like behind. I think even working part-time on music and stuff like that means that like things aren't coming out as much and stuff like that, but I don't know. Hopefully eventually a house. I definitely think by the time I'm 30, unless I decide to move back to London, <laughs> I think I might be able to buy a house. If I move back to London, which I'm not gonna lie, I'm thinking about it lately. Also right now is a weird time to buy a house. Like, you know what's going on in the state of the world, guys. It's just not, it's just not great. So I don't know, we'll see where we're at in three years. But right now, nah. Next. Yeah, I wonder what you're doing now to earn money. Mm. Are you still doing like the social media thing? Mm. Are you like finally making some money for music? I mm. hope. Have you got another job? Have you started something else freelancing that has gotten you money? It's so weird that I said that because yes. <laughs> so I'm earning more money. Love that. We love that for me. I'm doing a lot less social media ad stuff, which I'm really glad that I've stopped doing that. I feel like that at one point that was my main source of income, but I'm glad it's not anymore <laughs> because like sometimes I feel like I was just taking ads because it was just like, well, gotta earn that money. Whereas now I feel like I can be a lot more selective with it, but also I feel like that kind of makes me more exclusive as like a, I don't know, like a social media person. So like when I take on ads, like it's like really like cool stuff that I wanna be doing or brands that I wanna be working with. In terms of my jobs, uh, my main bread and butter is a video editor, <laughs> which is ironic considering I stopped making YouTube videos just to become a video editor. But to be fair, I don't mind the video editing part, especially when it's not me. Like. Editing this back, I am know for a fact that I'm gonna be cringing all over, but, but video editing for other YouTubers, like, I can do that. <laughs> Earning definitely a bit more money since then, which is great from music. Oh yeah, and then also I learned how to take beauty photography. We're still early days. I think the thing that I'm struggling with the most right now is like, I just wish that there were three of me. It just doesn't feel like I ever have enough time to do all the things I wanna do. Like, I wanna grow my beauty photography business, but then I also really wanna be an artist do this like music artist thing and then also I gotta like earn money <laughs> so I don't know it's just it's just been really tricky to kind of like balance that and just not feel like I'm failing or like I have enough time for anything and then there's also the added pressure as well of now I'm 27 I don't know they're always they're, there's this feeling that there's just a clock on you which I know is so ridiculous but I and I try to ignore it I don't know oh I don't know I don't know I just have to remind myself that like it doesn't matter I feel like whatever you are in your life like there's always like that feeling of like you could be doing better. Someone's always gonna be doing better than you at something. So I just try and like remind myself like gratitude for like where I'm at in my life right now. Like I have a creative job. I'm able to work part time, pay my bills and still get to pursue my creative passions. And especially right now with everything going on right now, like I'm very, very grateful to be in that position. <laughs> just gonna keep moving, keep swimming. Next. Do another support tour 
outside the UK. I'm hoping to do a lot more uh, UK support shows, but yeah, I would love to do some others. Maybe in the US, maybe in Australia, just somewhere else. Have your own headline tour. When I say I'm working on it, I'm not really working on it. When I say I'm working on it, I'm making music to feel comfortable enough that enough people are gonna buy tickets that I can yeah. go on a headline tour. Mm -hmm. It's just me. I manage and overlook and do everything in relation to my music. True. So I have like no actual awareness on whether I can sell two, three, four hundred tickets yeah. per city. I'm just trying to navigate that. Um, but yeah, hopefully, even if that isn't right now, that will be in the next few years. Fingers crossed. Or the other way, people just stop listening. <laughs> But I, I think am. I'm making bops. I am. I think I'm doing it. Yeah. So hopefully not. Do I have many excuses about this? I don't really know. A few months prior, I just finished the Tessa tour. And so I was like, oh my God, yeah, like things are happening and things were happening. There was just like this feeling of buzz. And obviously then we had a global pandemic that kind of, you know, put a stop to everything. I think originally like my plan was like, oh, I'll just keep doing support tours. And then eventually I'll put on my own show and yada, yada, yada. That didn't happen. I was gonna do a headline show last year, but then things have just taken a lot longer than I anticipated. I really wanted to put on a headline show for the release of the Light Pop EP, which I'm going to be bringing out this year. And I'm really excited. But then that got pushed back and then I had some health stuff and it's just basically, it's just a little bit hard being an independent artist because like if I stop nothing's happening in the background like and, and of course then also I'm doing this part-time it's just it's just a lot to manage as one person I definitely do think there will be a headline show this year though bye moi in London and you better come because if you don't come I will not play a show again <laughs> kidding sort of no not really I don't know I probably will and then off the back of that we will just see what the vibe is are people interested I hope so I hope so. I appreciate you guys being so patient and yeah, I'm really excited to see what this year brings and hopefully not more bullshit in my life. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully things are gonna get better, but fingers crossed. <laughs> Generally, I wanna be more happy with my aesthetic. When I say aesthetic, I mean generally the things that I'm putting mm -hmm, out that yeah. are more visual. I feel like I'm more in touch with the things that I like and what, yeah. what about the things that I like why like why do i like them and just slowly analyzing why i like certain things mm -hmm, to yeah. better create visuals and looks etc that go mm. with my music and also um me like the things that i like to wear that make me feel happy and good about myself and yeah i don't know man i love clothes i love makeup i love being theatrical and you know just kind of expressing myself and i want to know like i want to better do that find more things i like it's fun finding things that aesthetic i feel like i'm getting there i feel like i'm getting there again i feel like i'm just never happy with anything but i know for a fact i feel like if my past self saw me now they would think like oh my god you are the coolest person alive but what's funny about that is like i definitely am not the coolest person alive to anyone else <laughs> Like, I'm far from it. The ceiling is always rising. The ceiling is, I don't know. I just want more and more and more. I'm actually getting my hair done on Tuesday. Um, you've probably already seen it, but I'm really excited. I'm just constantly like, I don't know. I'm just constantly figuring out what I like. I definitely feel like I'm coming into myself a little bit more. I definitely look at her and I see like, like a child that like kind of, I don't know, isn't fully comfortable with herself. I feel like now I am feeling more comfortable in my body and in my like sexuality and everything, like more than I ever have. But also there's always that insecurity of like, oh my God, like, what do people think of me wearing this? I don't know. I feel like that's never gonna leave. I try and get over it. I'm trying to, I try to be just like, nah, man, like, I look good. But it's hard. And I also feel like I've learned a lot more about the fundamentals of putting together outfits. To answer the question, yes, I think. All right, let's keep going. I want to learn how to drive and get a car. And I don't care if I get like the crappiest car in the world. I honestly, I'm one of those people I just don't care. I want to drive. I want to drive places. I want to go on road trips. We don't really do that because neither of us drive. Yeah, I have not learned to drive. Will I ever learn? Who knows? Uh, again, it's just not my priority. I work from home. I have no reason to drive and it's quite an expense that I just don't feel like I really need to be spending. Maybe one day I'll learn. I don't know. But right now, 
yeah, it's just not a priority. So, <laughs> basically this whole video so far has just been like, no. <laughs> learning Korean. I started learning Korean last Why? year. <laughs> I am terrible. And Young Aseo watched oh Bethan God. humiliate herself. Bearing in mind, I just started last year, the end of last year. Mm -hmm. Like I started trying, trying like every day. So please don't. Please don't be that guy in the comments that's like, you're awful because I know. I just like skip slide of that because I just can't be asked because basically the answer to the question is no, I stopped learning Korean. I just started then, which was January 2020. I was going on my trip in June 2020. I don't know whether this is an ADHD thing or it's just like an everybody thing, but like I feel like I need to have something that motivates me. And for me, the thing that was motivating me was like going to Japan and South Korea. So I'm, I don't know, like I'm actually able to like use it. If I could have gone to a class maybe, maybe I would have continued it. That did not continue. Will I ever learn it? Probably not. Okay. Moving on. I finally got diagnosed with ADHD back in June and I've been taking mm -hmm. medication. Um, it's a bit hit and miss, but one yeah. thing that I can't deny is that it has been working, but also I've only been on this medication for about six weeks now. Wow. Things are just easier to do now. I mean, I'm sat here making this YouTube video, which mm. I haven't been able to do that in so long. Yeah. I think it's actually also helping control my anxiety, which I assume was linked to ADHD in some way or another mm. but have you switched medications yeah. have you are you still on medication are you on medication at all like i'm curious mm -hmm. because adhd is weird <laughs> okay so i did increase my medication i think at the time i was on 18 milligrams now i kind of go between 18 to 36 milligrams depending on the tasks at hand that day and yeah how am i finding it like i said hit and miss i think it does help me no it definitely helps me it's definitely changed my life i don't know why i'm pretending like it hasn't it's definitely changed my life but is it a cure-all no <laughs> it is not a cure-all but you know you've just got to swing with the good and bad yeah it's a part of me so i can't be mad at it i don't know we got a self-love we got a self-love here i'm so glad that i was diagnosed and yeah i've definitely like made peace with it moving on and also last but not least how are you how's your relationship are you in a relationship i hope you're in a relationship I say that because I'm currently very, very happy in mine and mm -hmm. that would be devastating. How are you? How's your life? I hope you're good. Anything you want to add? So yeah, to finish off, am I still in a relationship? Yes, I am. It was just our six year anniversary last month. Oh, that's a big old number. It's just gone so quickly. It's mad. It literally went three to six years. We did have a pandemic in between. We spent the pandemic together in my dad's house. That went really well, so we ended up moving in together end of 2020. So we've been living together two years now, and yeah, we just get stronger and stronger. It's really nice, and he's been, particularly recently, he's been, oh my god, I, I'm not gonna get teary, but <laughs> he, uh, he's just been the most supportive person. It's just like amazing. I'm fully obsessed, fully obsessed. And then how am I doing generally? Well, the health thing recently not been great. I'm so proud of myself because I feel like things get really hard and I feel like I just keep going <laughs> If it was easy, it would be boring and I fully feel that when I've had the worst times in my life I feel like the things that have followed it have been amazing I feel like it gives you a different perspective and sometimes that can lead to great things and yeah I don't know I'm just trying to remain as positive as I possibly can anyway my camera is about to run out of memory so we're gonna go thank you guys so much for watching this video i appreciate you so much and i'm so grateful you guys are still in my life thank you for being here if you want to check out my music or check me out on other social media platforms because i use those a hell of a lot more you can check out my instagram my tiktok at i am ledley you can check out my music ledley on spotify i'm releasing banger after banger baby and also check out my discord it's basically just like a chat room where i just like kind of keep you guys up to date with what going on in my life you tell me about your life it's a beautiful lovely creative community so please come and join us and yeah i believe like that is probably everything i'll see you soon <laughs> all right bye